Acoustic treatment is one of the most effective ways to improve the sound quality of your sound system. Your sound system is only as good as the weakest link in the signal chain, and for most people, the weakest link is the acoustic quality of their room. Your speakers may output extremely high fidelity sound, but comb filtering, room modes, and reverberation can diminish the sound quality from the perspective of the listener. Luckily, with a few strategically placed sound absorption panels, you can significantly improve the listening experience. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build acoustic panels that cost less than what you'd pay for professionally made panels. Alternatively, you can find some links in the description below to some of my top recommendations for pre-made acoustic panels. I've created a full kit that will make it easy for you to get everything you need for this project. Using those links supports the channel at no extra cost to you. There are just a few things you'll need in order to build these panels. The tools you'll need include a drill, a small drill bit for pilot holes, a Phillips head screwdriver bit, a saw, whether it's handheld or electric, a tape measure, and a staple gun. The materials needed to build one acoustic panel include two eight foot long wooden boards. I'm gonna use eight inch wide by one inch thick, two yards of duck canvas fabric, a bag of rock wool safe and sound insulation, wood screws, and some staples for your staple gun. The type of wood you'll buy depends on the depth of the panels you wanna make. Shallow panels only absorb mid and high frequencies, so I wouldn't recommend choosing wooden boards less than four inches in depth. This calculator will help you to compare the effectiveness you can expect with various depths. The first step is to cut the wood to make a frame. Choose whichever dimension that makes the most sense for your insulation, aiming for a snug fit around the insulation without compressing it too much. You'll need two long boards and three short boards. Once you've made those cuts, go ahead and set those boards aside. Next, you'll need some corner braces. This can be done by cutting some scrap wood into right triangles. The next step is to prepare your insulation. I'll be building an eight inch deep panel, so I'll use two three inch deep pieces of insulation. This does a few things. It gives me some room to install the braces, it gives me some room to install the mounting hardware, and it creates a small air gap that improves the efficiency of the absorptive panel. If you're building four inch panels, you'll only need one sheet of three inch insulation. Go ahead and lay out the insulation on the floor or on a work table. Now we're going to build the frame around the insulation. Take two of the short boards and place them at the top and bottom of the insulation. Then sandwich the short boards and the insulation between the two long boards. Before fastening them together with wood screws, create pilot holes with your drill bit. This will help to ensure that the wood doesn't split when you install the wood screws. I'd recommend using two screws on each joint. Next, do the same thing with the corner braces in the center brace. Once that's complete, you'll have a completed frame. Pick up the frame and slide the fabric underneath it. Position the frame so that the fabric wraps around the back of the frame on all sides. Cut the fabric to the right dimensions so that you can secure the fabric to the inside of the frame using a staple gun. On the short sides, you'll need to fold the fabric so that it lays flat. There are several ways that you can mount these panels to the wall. My suggestion is to get some hanging wire and hardware like I found in this kit. If you're planning to mount your panels to the ceiling, I'll leave links in the description to some of the mounting solutions that I would recommend. Next, it's time to decide the best placement for your panels. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.